Hello everybody, back again. You sick of me yet? Okay, so we are on to our last card today. So I've been on three, oh, this is the third time I've been on today. So just a second, I'm gonna grab, sorry, getting my arm in there, I'm gonna reach for some things here. So in video number one, we created, just a sec, that was kind of my original that I had done. Then I always change them up by the time that I hit my lives. So in video number one, we did this card here, which is super fun to do. And then again, you're loving today, thank you. Um, and then again, in video number two, we had done, I had this card ready here, and then I had jumped in and, you know, I kept it very similar, just changed the color a little tiny bit. But those were the two cards that we've already done this morning. So now, we are on to card number three. Hello again. Um, first off, the one thing I have to point out to you, and this is hysterical because I just thought I'd figure this out while we were off, is, okay, so you're going to see this sometimes sitting on my uh, desktop. And it talks about my West Coast Creators family. So this is like my Stampin' Up! team that I've got. And there's a ton of us. And it is an absolute blast. But, um, and the information's here, but I have to tell you this. Right now, they have on a starter kit deal. So starter kit meaning you sign up as a demonstrator. Do you have to do anything that I'm doing? No. What do you have to do? Uh, get a discount for yourself? That's the extent of what you're doing. But check this out. I worked this out. It was kind of cute. Do you like how professional this looks? Not. It does not. I'm just kidding. So... If you, oh, you guys are so sweet, thank you. But if you had got the, you know, the trellis card that we did, okay, so this set here, so the stamp set with the coordinating dies, um, plus the gorgeous designer series paper package that I used here, this stamp set with the coordinating dies, and then I calculated in five separate combo packages of blends. So that's enough to do like your old olive and your blackberry bliss and your petal pink. Uh, and your Highland Heather and like your Mossy Meadow, okay? So you've got all those blends that you could get. You can get a package of the Fresh Fig Ribbon. You could get a Memento Ink Pad because you're going to want that with your blends. And then you could get a package of, say, the rhinestones because nobody ever has enough rhinestones. But you guys, all of that together, you would still be under the cost of the starter kit. Okay, so starter kit is normally... I kid you not, the starter kit is normally $135, no shipping, no taxes, and you get to pick $165 worth of product. So it's usually a wicked deal to start, but because it's celebration, you pick $225 worth of product. Notice where we are. And you only pay $135 for it, no shipping, no taxes. So don't look at my super trashy advertising for some realtor because this paper was on my desk. But realize all of those amazing products that I was using in those cards, you can get as part of your starter kit. And you, yeah, like everything. It's insane. Anyway, so there is my information. Uh, you can actually go to my uh, North Shore Stamper um, blog, which is just NorthShoreStamper.com. And there's actually a little link on there on joining my West Coast Creators team. But that's where you're going to want to go to do it, you guys. Honestly, take advantage of that is insane deal right now. Okay, now this part, this is the part I am loving because, sorry, I'm looking for something at the same time talking. Um, starting on the 15th, we went into a whole new celebration mode. Okay, so check this. So now we can start to earn new um, celebration products that have just come out. So today I'm actually going to be playing with this one, which is Painted Seasons. Now this one's a purchase. Uh, you can get it free with a $120 purchase. You can't combine that starter kit deal with this or with, you know, like together. It's one or the other. So you can either get the celebration rewards or you can choose to get the Wicked um, starter kit deal. But it's got a gorgeous designer series paper. Woo-woo! and coordinating stamp set Woo -woo. Um, so these ones are available now okay and so I'm gonna play with this one but I'll just show you really quickly so there's this stamp set that's available with a $60 purchase that's new there is this gorgeous embossing folder that's free with a $60 purchase that's new and then there's this super beautiful bundle that we're playing with today and that one's with a $120 purchase and plus you've got your old celebration items that are on there with the exception of two things this is now sold out the foil sheets have sold out, um, and who was the other one, you guys? Help. Somebody else sold out. I can't even remember. Losing my mind. I know there's more of these coming in. Anyway, yes, I know, Paulette. They're so cute. Okay, so I have to focus here. Are you ready? Let's do this card. So we are starting off with a piece of just Whisper White cardstock. Nothing crazy here. And I have got a pool party base for this guy. 
So we're going to be putting him on there. Was it the ribbon? Is this sold out or is it just not orderable? I feel like it's coming back in. Help me, guys. I feel like we have a date that we know some's coming in. Um, anyway, okay, so focus, Angela. Maybe it's done. The ribbon's sold out. Okay, good. But the people who, yeah, whatever. There's some coming in that they're covering orders for. You're right. Good job, girls. I have no brain. Anyway, okay, so we've got this. This is not exciting or difficult. But before we start on adhering bits and pieces, I'm going to come in and I am just going to use my petal pink ink pad. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way because we don't want it yet. And this is just one of the super cute little stamps from the set. So nothing um, too fancy. It's just like a little dotted kind of image. I'll leave it there because then you guys can see it. Okay. Do -do. So we're going to go like this. And we're just going to randomly take these guys kind of up the side to there. Okay. Now, I know that is not anything crazy, but we are going to do, I'll put this aside for a sec. Um, I want to emboss this background, but I didn't want to emboss it before I stuck that on. I don't, I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of embossing on, um, what's it called? Or sorry, of stamping on something that's already embossed. It is too ridgy for me. Yes. And I feel like my stamp can't kind of get good coverage or my stamp's not like making good contact with it. Okay. So we are going to put down this one. And now we're going to take this guy and we're going to tuck him in. Now, I definitely do try to use the lines. Can you see that right there? Um, when I'm doing an image like this, because, um, especially with an embossing folder like this, because the lines go up and down and I don't want them crooked on my page. It'll make me crazy. Okay, so let's crank that one through. So we're just on our regular platform right now with no plates below, just one over top. Okay, so that putt was easy. Now, I am going to use one product that you can't get yet. Huh. Well, you could if you decided to go ahead with that um, starter kit that I told you about before. So you can actually include the item that I'm going to show you in the starter kit, okay? So we've got that really pretty embossed. You struggle with that too. It's the only way I could. Oh, I know. Don't. Oh my gosh, Corey, do you not hate that? Once I've embossed something and then I'm like, oh, but I want a stamp. And then I'm like, nah. Okay. Can you remind me at the end, twine, that's your job. Don't tell me, like, don't let me forget that. Okay, so now, next thing we're going to do is I have got a big scrap of Whisper White. Now, we've got that one that I have my inky fingers on. I think I can pull it off because I've got some extra bits ready to go for this anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we are going to grab the succulent, and we have got Pool Party, okay? And we have got Lemon Lime Twist. And then I'm also going to use my Petal Pink. All three. I'm not doing petal pink succulents, don't you worry. I just have a plan. Okay. Now, I do need to have ready my chamois because we're gonna have to change up colors part way through, okay? So, first thing I'm gonna do, make sure he, oh, he was green last. Okay, so I'll use green again. I'm gonna ink him up in my lemon lime. Oh, which embossing folder? Thank you, Wendy. It was the Settles embossing folder. Now, I'm just taking one of our little daubers and I'm inking up my petal pink. And I'm just going to go like this. Now my child is being so loud. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, because I loved on the DSP how they had the succulents that had the little kind of bits of pink edging. Can you see that now? I'm going to bring it up to you. You can kind of see that there. I, I didn't sign up for a job. <laughs> you guys crack me up. Okay, so next one. I'm going to go here. And um, only reason I'm cleaning it is because I've got those pinks and things going in there. And I'm trying to see what I've got. I've got, what do I have ready? I've got a full blue, I've got a full green, and I've got some bits. Okay, so let's do one more blue. Okay, so again, I'm gonna ink that one up in that pool party. And then I'm gonna take my little sponge dauber, okay? And again, I'm just gonna kinda go around the edges. Now I'm getting a little bit of blue in it, so I'm just gonna daub it off, yes. Okay, and then we're gonna come in here and we'll stamp that one. There we go, check it. So you can kind of give it that little bit of color. Am I holding it too close to you? I hope you can see that. Okay, so instead of you watching me do those over and over again, because you'll be like, okay, Ange, we get the point. It's not rocket appliances. I've got a few of them already ready and there's some partials here. I was making designer series paper of my own and then decided that I wasn't going to, and so I just die cut them. So that's why they're already kind of bits. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is while we've got this out, 
we're gonna take the pool party and we're gonna give ourselves one, I don't know, let's just do three, two, three. Now, okay, so here's the deal. This is a thing that you don't have access to yet. So coming out on March 1st are beautiful coordinating dies for this stamp set. Now they're not going to be available as a freebie. It's not like you can get them or earn them the same way that you can earn celebration rewards, but you can buy them. So these are one that, uh, this is one that is coming. Okay. So, uh, I should do the big shotting next. Okay. Let's pull this aside. That's going up there. You're going in the way. You're going out the way. Okay. Let's take this. My lovely hair is sticking to it. Okay. I'm going to come back in with that big shot and I'll show you the dice because they are so cool. Okay. And I love how they're making it easy for us to die cut multiple images. So put this guy down on here. Now in my dies, the one thing I am going to point out to you, just a second, I think I had one that fell behind. There's another one in here. Come here, you. Oh, not you. There's another one in there somewhere. Oh, there he is. He's hiding. I'm super bad for that. Please don't give it. I do count them every time. I make sure that I'm not losing them, but I'm not good about putting them back in the same spots. Look at how many of this one they've given me. I've got three of them, okay? So this makes it super easy when I'm doing something like this to have stamped a bunch of them in advance and be able to die cut them all at the same time. Now, the other thing I did notice, I've got one end of the succulent that's got a flat edge, and I find him really easy to see on the stamp, so I don't have any issues kind of spinning this one around, trying to line it up. Now let's see if any of my little ones are in a spot. Yep, they are, where they work. Liking this bun, I know! Carolyn and I did that card with it, I'll show you guys at the end, but I did a card with it last week, and I was in love with it, but I hadn't played with the succulents yet, so I played with them last night, I was having fun. Okay, so we've got that one. So if you missed it, I just sponged a little bit of petal pink onto there, okay, so that we've got that in the background. We're using that lovely piece of paper from that last video that I managed to stick my Blackberry Bliss hands all over. So again, I'm finding that square edge, or that's kind of a flat edge, and he lines up super easy. Hold my breath. You get to play with the set tomorrow. Woo woo. Okay, now, oh, why, what did I do with all the dies? I said, look at I have three of them, and then I only stuck one through. Let's see. Now your only problem sometimes with the little dies is they are far more prone to jumping based on where the magnets are. You can absolutely tape them into place or you can be super lazy like me and you can just say, nah, just gonna wing it and hope it works. Okay, so ready? We're gonna tuck this one in and then we're, yeah, see that one? You see that? He was possessed, he jumped. Forget it, I'm just running through a third time. It's not the end that let's crank it yes wouldn't it it would look so good with that new paper pumpkin and I think that's kind of the thing right now is we've got all these products that are coordinating with each other Stampin' Up's kind of rocking it okay let's get rid of this one put them over there we'll just do one more so this card is not a complicated card okay a little bit less detailed than some of the ones we've been working on now the other thing that I did use in this so I used the um, the paper, the, sorry, the DSP and stamp set bundle. So that one's free with a $120 purchase. And then I'm actually going to use one other one that is one of the ones that's free with a $60 purchase. And you can kind of play with it depending on what, you know, which ones you want to have. Or like, for example, I've got a lot of sentiments, so you can totally pull that off. Okay, so let's take this out. Put that down. There we go. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take, this is one of the sentiments and I'll show you. And this is from the part of my story stamp set. So love these sentiments, super cute. And all I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna use my markers and I'm going to use Pool Party. And I'm using the side of my marker, not the tip. You don't wanna make your tip all fuzzy. And then I'm gonna do this one. And then my second color I'm gonna use is my Flirty Flamingo. That's another color that's in uh, the DSP. So I'm just kind of making sure I got good coverage here. This is one of those things you want to make sure you brush your teeth before you do if there's people around you because once you've colored on your marker, you have to, or colored on your stamp, you have to huff on it because it starts to dry quite quickly. And so if I just give it a <gasps> on it, then it's enough to kind of make it work well. Do, 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 do. Got it. Okay, ready? Your paper pumpkin went for a tour. I have a parcel doing that right now. Um, it says in UPS that because of the severe weather, so I don't know where it's going. There we go. 
Okay, now this punch is another thing coming on March 1st. So this one is made to coordinate, look at it, already got things stuck to it. Nice job, Ange. Um, it's made to coordinate with the, um, that stamp that I just showed you, that part of my story. So we're gonna take that one. And I'll put that one back in there. I don't think I need anything else out of my bin. Good, woo woo, let's put this thing together. Okay, so I have cut a strip of the DSP. Super cute. There are fuzzy tip jokes, but I'm not touching it. Yeah, thank God, girl. We're not going there. Okay. <laughs> oh, Laura. There we go. Let's put snail on the back of this one. My hair off there. It's disgusting. I'm sorry. And then this, I cut it shorter than the Whisper White. Okay, so he's just going in on the side, just like that. Now, I have to remember twine. You're not allowed to let me forget. Twine, twine, twine because there's no twine on my sample card, but I thought after that it might look cute. So we're gonna put all the bits on and then we'll deal with the twine. Okay, so I've got all these guys. Now I'm not gonna use all these. Just saying you saw your, my reflection in the punch. You did not, can you? Are you being serious? Woo woo, there I am. Hello, that's super cheesy. You guys are hilarious, that's awesome. Hey, my hair's all done. And my makeup's on. I even look like I'm like, you know, partially together today. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this guy. Now, I did get a bit excessive on the dimensionalizing. You ready? There we go. I'm gonna take this one, kind of put you down here. Now this one I'll just line up with an edge because he's already got, like I said, I cut him off of a piece of um, DSP. Okay, so this one, I think I'll do the same down at the bottom. Now this one I'm just gonna snail. I'm gonna tuck you down there like that. There. If you can hear myself, oh my gosh, my child, he's so loud, or not hear myself, hear my child, he's so loud, you will absolutely understand why I am like, well, you know where he gets it from, his mother. Okay, now these are all full ones. So let's go with, let's do a partial okay I like that one so this guy I'm gonna put on a dimensional shocker oh yeah there's like I think there's 1300 dimensionals on this guy come on I have there we go let's take him I think I want him to overlap a bit more there now I know that this one I want to kind of stick there okay so I'm gonna give him a dimensional right smack in the middle wow that <laughs> Oh, Laura, thank you. I needed that today. That was awesome. Okay, so we're going to tuck this one in here. Oh my gosh, that was priceless. <sighs> okay, and then I think I'm going to tuck this guy under. See, if you're not watching, if you don't look up at the right time, I could miss out on all the fun stuff that you guys are saying on there. Okay, and then I'm going to do this one here. I want one more you. There. Is that okay? Like that? Sorry. Do you like how I have to stop talking as I'm like placing? I'm like, I can't think and place it all at the same time. There we go. Okay. So we're going to like that. Now, these guys here, uh, I should probably use my minis. Where are my minis? I had my minis. We used them in the last card. Oh, look at that. Fancy that. No, that's not them. I was going to say fancy that. I put them away, but no, I did not. I did not put them away. Really, Angela? You just had them. I looked at them. I'm looking for them. Up in there. Oh, those are more full size ones. I think I ate them. Is that possible? Did I eat them? Just a second. We're, oh, good. I've got some more. It's all good. I got lost. Okay. There we go. Too nutty. You guys crack me up. Okay, so just a second. Come in. Oh. And then we'll poke a few of you guys just in here. So we had three. I see two. Oh, there's the third one. I'm not going to use one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're fine. There. Leave it to me for the inappropriate typo. Hey, inappropriate typos make it all the more entertaining. There. And then, how should I tuck my third one? my green there okay I love it that turned out cute okay so next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take some of the pool party twine okay you ready and this one I think I'm gonna go two layers and so I'm gonna come here how close did I get this is where you have to watch where you put your dimensionals because that oh it's him huh just a sec lift him up 
here. I'm gonna go back in in a second. You guys are quiet now. You've been talking to me for too long. You're like, yeah, we have nothing to say to you anymore, Ange. There, one, two. Come here. Come on up. There. Okay, if I chop this off, then we can just tie it. Chop, done. Move this out of the way. Okay. Do, do. Oh, yeah, now I have to. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Oh, no, that's not bad. It's at the top. Okay, that's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Okay, so we're going to come over here. You're too busy watching. I'm not doing anything crazy or exciting. We're not coloring anything fancy this time. There we go. We're going to put you two together. Okay, the only reason I ever knot them like this is I don't like them um, when they separate. I like them to kind of connect somewhere in the middle. I just feel like they're kind of hanging out there lost in space when they're... There, we'll come in here. Now, I don't have this twine on the first card. The first card's actually not even on the same... He won't be on the same color background either. So we'll have to see which one we like best. There. There. Okay, it's just like pool party jar I understood I knew what you were saying it's funny I don't even think I caught on that you said tin and not jar okay so now oh look at forgot about him <laughs> come take him back in tuck him over there now he can go back and now let's just grab some more dimensionals do 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 one do do I'm just tossing them off to the side my puppy's going to be home soon. Is it super dorky that I'm excited for Sean and Joey and my little Harley and then my Rooney? You know, yeah, I'm lost. I need dogs in the house. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay, let's go in and we're going to put this. And I love, love, love the sentiment on this one. Know that today a friend is thinking of you. Okay, so we're just going to take you down a little bit. And it's a little bit too loopy doopy for me. Not into that much length. Okay, and then I have to put my rhinestones on to finish this one, except I can't because I can't find them. They're there. You ready? Losing the bits. Oh, I'm losing the bits. I have lost the bits. My bits are long gone. Okay, ready? Let's go with this one. Oh, I need a big one. Hang on, there was a big one left on the sheet. I'm trying to use up the sheet, and yet I kind of end up in that lovely, awkward, not enough of each one. Oh my gosh, my child is so loud. I am so sorry. But if I do the crazy mom scream, then you'll all be like, really, Ange? Lucas! Uh, let's take this one here-ish. And then let's take one. Kind of stick it right on it. Oh, I did it again. There it is. It's okay. I can see it. I think I would have learned. How many times have I said that today that I need to not use my scissors? Can you hear him? I can still drive it. Hacker! Hacker! Fortnite cracks me up. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you have got it. You have got card number three for today. There we go. So you can see there, there was the, this one was done on all white, and I had no twine, so it looks different. It really looks different. Wow. Um, super different cards, but I like how they kind of, I love the colors on here. And then we have got that guy that we did today. And then we have got this one that we did today. Crazy mom scream would make you laugh. Yeah, you heard him. I know, you can't not hear him. You imagine, Corey, imagine when I was teaching him. Hmm. It was like a battle of the wills between him and I and our voices. So you can see three super fun cards that we did today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I had a blast. That was kind of a fun, you can't get away from me day. I, Carol, I definitely am. I feel so much better and I feel calmer than I did when we started. I was actually scared to do a Facebook Live this morning. Um, but it has gone away and I feel like myself again. And as always, because it comes from you guys. So thanks so much for joining me today. Remember, head to shop with NorthShoreStamper.com. The third video was the one, just a second. That's the one that the first order placed online. You get a, uh, the Warm Hearted stamp set, okay, for free. Now remember, your other option, other than placing the order online, is just to say, forget it, I'm just joining Angie's team, because that's a regular party as it is with giveaways galore, okay? Take care, you guys. Have an awesome afternoon, and happy family day to everyone in Canada. Bye.